Earlier we saw how the Move Copy feature can be used to position bodies within a multi-body part. You can also use mates to control positioning more precisely. Before we continue, it's important that you not mistake this functionality as a substitute for assembling components in the assembly environment. We'll take a look at the differences a bit later. Let's take a look at how mates are used using this multi-body part. I'll add a plate to be attached at the base of each leg. I'll add the plate using the insert part command. Before I add the part, notice the Launch Move dialog option is checked. When I click in the graphics area to drop the part in, the Locate Part Property Manager appears. As you can see, this looks very much like the Mate Property Manager you see in assemblies. You select Entities to Mate, then select the appropriate type of mate. In this case, I'll make the top face of the plate coincident to the bottom face of the leg. To apply the mate, you simply click the Add button. Next, I'll add a couple of distance mates to position the plate under the leg. I'll click OK and the plate is in place. Earlier I mentioned this new functionality should not be confused with the use of mates in the assembly environment. One reason is that here in the part environment, I cannot make use of the Move Component tool. This keeps me from simulating motion using collision detection or clearance detection. Also, since I'm not working with an assembly, a bill of materials cannot be automatically generated. The main difference between using mates here in the part environment versus using them in an assembly is that here, they're used only to position bodies in a time-dependent fashion. I'll show you what I mean. After positioning this plate as you just saw, I can launch the Move Copy feature, select the plate as the body to move, select the top face of the plate and the top face of the weldment to create a coincident mate. After doing that, I can use the Move Copy feature again to move the plate somewhere else. This behavior is completely different than what you would expect in the assembly environment. Here, as long as I use the Move Copy feature again and again, I can create mates that would seemingly conflict with earlier mates. If you look at the Feature Manager tree, you'll see the mates I just added are associated with individual Move Copy features. Like any other feature, these can be reordered, suppressed, deleted, or you can roll back to before they were created. The point is, these mates do not behave like mates in an assembly. They only apply until you add another Move Copy feature that moves the body again.